Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am working with three berry looking colors of which I am excited to pair together and see how they're going to look together. I'm pretty sure they're going to look amazing, but let's go over these colors. Pixie by Tuftix, Retro Wild Berry from Kelson, and Canyon Rose from Tuftix. I have different sizes of these balloons and also working with this frame behind me. I will link that one in the description under the video. Without any further ado, let's go, let's create. I am creating clusters of balloons, I'm creating quads of balloons. I am just inflating amount of balloons that I think I would need, enough balloons that I would need for this setup. I'm just blowing, I don't have a plan what I want to do. I know that I want to work with this triangle uh, frame because I haven't used it in a while. Let's go, let's inflate our balloons. I'm inflating my balloons into different sizes to achieve that organic looking balloon garland. Balloons are pre-inflated. Now it's time to make the base for our install. I am grabbing two different sizes, clusters of balloons, reaching inside and finding next up balloons from those clusters. I am stretching those necks and tying both clusters together by those necks. I love this technique. It works the best for me. I've been through so many techniques. I've been using 260s fishing line. I've been using balloon strips. This is the best technique for me. If you don't know which technique works the best for you, my suggestion is try every technique. Uh, you don't have to master it. See what works best for you. Each technique probably comes with its uh, pros and cons. For example, if you're using fishing line, if you're not careful with fishing line, you can cut your balloons by pulling on the fishing line too tight. Uh, also, you're using too much fishing line and extra supply to build your balloon garlands. I've used 260s. I didn't like the idea that I need to purchase more balloons, so more 260s and include them into my balloon garlands. And again, I am using more supplies to construct a balloon garland. Balloon strip. Balloon strip is good for kids when you're purchasing them uh, just for a quick setup for a birthday party here and there. Why not? It works. It will look great. But if you're doing something high quality, if you're working with clients, if you're doing something for somebody with a balloon strip, I would not suggest it. Um, other than that, tying necks of balloons works best for me. Just try all of the techniques and see what works best for you. I know a balloon artist who specializes on fishing line, who specializes on tying necks, who specializes on 260s. So whatever works best for you, whatever you feel much more comfortable working with, go with it. I think this is what I want to go for. I think this is how I want to place my balloons. I didn't really want to be predictable with this frame and just make balloons on one side of the uh, frame. I wanted to do something different. So I locked these balloons on top of the frame. You know how it's done you just push balloons on the frame and you crisscross the balloons by locking the frame in balloons so this will not go anywhere so this side over here i still need to lock it and i think i'm gonna be pushing pushing these bottom guys push it on the frame crossing the balloons by locking everything in place. I want to elongate this balloon garland, take it to the side and curve it to an opposite side. We'll see how that's going to work. I really love this frame point that it's kind of like buried in balloons but it's still visible. So now I want to attach this top portion to the ceiling. I will be using my adjustable command hook like usual and I'll be using some fishing line. To finish this off, I want to use the sangria color just at the very tip of it. 
very happy with the shape of my garland now I am grabbing extra clusters of balloons and I am filling up this balloon garland looking where this garland needs more fluff more volume more turns and twists and I think I want to uh, voluminize the bottom as well by adding a whole bunch of balloons at the bottom. When it comes to the floor, I often use my glue dashes because sometimes when you tie a balloon, balloon can ride up and bring the whole bottom of the balloon garland upwards as well. So sometimes, once in a while, I use glue dashes to glue my balloons down just like that. Um, you have to be sure when you're placing this, you need to be sure that I want this quad or cluster to be on that specific spot because once you glue it, you won't be able to remove it unless you're going to pop the balloons. This was the moment when I tried to add extra clusters or quads of balloons to the base of my balloon garland. I've tried multiple times here and there. I tried different spots, different angles, nothing worked. This doesn't happen too often, but sometimes your base is so good that you don't need to add any extra clusters or quads of balloons. I guess today was the day for a good base for me. this setup needs something flowery something green even though i didn't want to go into like summer and spring feels with these balloons but um it needs something so i have these um floral pieces that i've made for one of the jobs that i already completed and i feel like i want to add it over here I'm going to be using these clips right here, so I'm just going to be clipping the back of this foam to the frame. We'll see how that's going to look. I thought this balloon garland missed something. So I decided to pull out my seven inch, very beautiful pink colored orbs. I tied 260 to the tail of the balloon. I tied two ends of 260 together to create a loop. And now I am ready to stretch this 260 and loop over any of the balloons on my balloon garland. I feel like this will brighten up this balloon garland a little bit and give something to look at even more so let's attach it And this is what I have for you guys today. This is my final setup. I honestly didn't even thought or expected that this setup will turn out as summery, as springy, as girly as I thought it would. I thought I would spin this color palette into something fall like and it's absolutely and definitely possible. But I guess my creativity took me to something more warm versus something more cooler like fall. I will link and list everything that you guys see in the description under the video. Go ahead and check it out. If you have any additional questions, comment down below in the comment section. I will try my best to help you out. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. And I hope all of you will have a wonderful day. And I will see you back very soon. Bye.